Hey guys, it's me, Edgar, here to do my review on Spawn Issue 30. And oh boy, this was a very interesting issue. And uh, I decided to do my marathon on Spawn, so yeah. So the comic book opens up where we have Spawn just all exhausted and beat up after the events of the Angela comic, which I will be doing. Don't worry guys, I'm going to be doing that very soon. Um, sometime around, like, I review maybe issue 35 or 32, uh, I'll review the Angela comic. But anyway, so we have Al pretty much feeling a little bad of his little lovey-dovey crap with Angela. And he meets up with a, a black family, and they're dealing with the KKK situation. And yeah, that's not really doing so well. And um, they meet up with Spawn and he tells them like, I wear this costume because it's a part of his life now because his life is pretty much fucking for shit now. In better short terms to sum up what he's saying. Then after that, we're dealing with fucking KKK elitist fucking racist fucks and wearing the white power crap and uh, this is why I love McFarlane where he brings in a lot of realistic racist stuff in today's society and they take down spawn they hang him in the fucking tree with the chains because they couldn't fucking lift his ass and they just decided fuck it why don't we just throw him in the chains and we also go to the fucking KK bullshit and then after that spawn comes in and pretty much let's just put it in a better terms he takes this guy who is a part of the KK fucking fiasco leadership and he tells him I've been waiting for you. You want to know how it feels to get fucking outcast? You want to know how it feels to pretty much get this bullshit hunted down? Do everything you can to kill that person because it's not my skin color? Well, let's change your skin color. And he fucking changes his skin color in the worst way possible. And all the KK members, all the racist scumbags, little piece of shits pretty much go after him and then after that we have it where spawn gives uh the farmer slash black man who has been dealing with a lot of bullshit of the kk uh racist scumbags and he gets a file by spawn and pretty much it helps him pretty much get land and It'll also help him benefit his family and all that stuff, which is really great and very great writing from Tom McFarlane. I really enjoy uh, McFarlane's writing. And I'll say this, McFarlane isn't the perfect writer, but he's a damn good storyteller. That's all I'll say. Um, and you also have that point where the guy who was basically turned into a black man pretty much get hanged and the rest is history from there. So, in a scale of 1 to 10, um, I'm going to give this sucker a solid 8 out of 10. Stay tuned for more spawn reviews. I'm also going to be doing a major update on what I'm going to be doing. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Tell me your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.